This is Dean Barker with the RCBL, and I'm here with the Bridgewater Reds after an 11 to 6 win. Hope that scores draft time in that. <laughs> I'm here with a makeshift coach, Sherman. Coach, what was the key to getting the job done tonight? Get, we had Derek out there tonight. And he threw 800 pitches this week. And <laughs> we love him. We don't want him to retire after this season. I think we're going to have him back. <laughs> Derek, you threw 166 pitches earlier this week. Goodness gracious, who knows how many you threw tonight, but you were able to take your team eight innings and get 10 strikeouts and hold off a pretty solid offensive Diamondbacks team. What was the key for you to get it done out there? Yeah, they've got batters. They've got some good hitters. Um, we've got a good defense behind us. I don't think there were many errors. And when we score, what was it, 11 runs, it's kind of hard to get beat. So uh, I'm just trusting my offense. So a big part of those 11 runs was offensive production from these two guys. Noah Cornwell, you went one for four, but you had four RBIs, including a tank. Uh, to, actually, to left field, Apo Taco. Mm -hmm. What was the key to go up there and just make make it look easy uh well i'm going to shout out my bp partner for pregame and corbin we've been working on you know staying staying through the ball so i've been working on left center left field and i got a pitch on the outside half and and drove it and yeah that's what we've been working on before the game so gotta shout out my guy corbin nick griffin it's a big night for you one for one with two rbis one of them being a homer out there and four walks what was the key to intimidating that opposing pitching staff. Pitchers are athletes. Well, I was just supposed to play until Gray got here, so I figured I would only have one, two, eight days. So I just tried to get a yard, you know, <laughs> get a fastball, put a good swing on it. <laughs> I was actually going to ask Corbin about his performance without any jokes, but I guess that, just, that won't happen. So, let's see, you guys are taking on Montezuma tomorrow. And then on Saturday, you've got a big doubleheader against Grottos, who has been surging as of late. What do you think is going to be the key to keeping the energy going? And after Clover Hill's not giving you a break, they got the job done there. It's still a tie for first place. What's going to be the key with this remaining few games to break out of it and win that regular season title? Keep scoring 11 runs. We keep swinging the bats like we do. I think we got the best offense in the league. But Clover Hill, they, they can swing it too. So it's going to be a fun one. I still, like, I, I think I agree with Luke earlier in the season. He says it's going to be Clover Hill bridge -like. Can't deny that. So what you guys got to say? I don't know. Pitching, defense, <laughs> timely hitting. It's the name of the game. I agree. All right, Keep that's letting what our pitchers hit. Yeah. Keep letting their pitchers hit. All right, that's what we got from the Bridgewater Reds. Lunch at Jeff we'll Brown's see you tomorrow. Day.